So we have just arrived at Chongqing Mansions, but don't be fooled, what's inside is as far from a mansion as you can imagine. Built in the 60s, this huge building was originally created as an apartment complex, but over time it was changed into complex of shops, restaurants and tiny hotels. Inside some of these buildings is like going back in time. Let's show you exactly what I mean. Let's check it out. <laughs> Hey, I should have one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll have a I will have a check. Okay, let's go. How much is it? Hello. Hello. See, this one. Oh, this is an example. Ah, yes. What's the smallest room you have? You want to do small? Yeah. You need a small? What's the smallest one? I want to this see. This one is very I, good. This man. is big one. What's? Uh, I want to see the smallest one you have. Uh, oh wow, that is small, eh? Yeah. This is like single bed, good, single and bed. it's got. Uh, toilet. Here, toilet. Got a shower? Yeah, just have a shower. Oh, it's a hot so, water. Sorry, I'm gonna just lock you out there a second. Oh shit. So <laughs> So there's a shower there, there's a sink, toilet. Yeah, it's everything you'd ever, oh, he's awake. Everything you'd ever need, you got a TV. Oh, you can't open it from there? Yeah, yeah. All right, okay. And how much is this one? This one, 200. Two, 200, which is like $25. Isn't that right? Maybe, I think, 30. Like $30. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's not bad. I need to go see Jay's hotel first. And then? Yeah. I need to see what it's like because you want to cancel now maybe i need to speak to them first but i need to see i, will, I need to see theirs you know because yeah. let, let, let me show you just i'm not I'm you get on, you get connect the wi-fi and I'm, I'm not telling you i'm, I'm, I'm lying cancel. no I, let me go see theirs first okay. and if it's no good i'll i'll text you is that fair okay. hello bro maybe give you a discount no problem no, no, so if, um, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not here to negotiate down a low price. I'm happy with the price, okay. Okay. but just depends on the quality of that other one. Yes, and then I'll come back because it, it's this is quite clean for me. Okay, okay. It's no real, no real problem. I've been lost already in this place. <laughs> Give you a turn a minute. Where in India? Do you, where are you from? I'm from India. Where? Where? Calcutta. Oh. Calcutta. Calcutta. Oh, Kolkata. Oh, right. Okay. Yes. Oh. You go like, in there, like that? I, I will go there eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blocky, you see? Blocky. Ah, blocky. Yeah. Okay, perfect. You go and... I'll give you a shout. Raj, okay. thank you very much. Hopefully I'll send you a text. Okay, right, so we're just on the lift. And as you can tell, there's two lifts in each block, or each wing, and there's five wings. And each lift either goes to the odds, or as obviously you can see here, the even numbers, which should speed things up. But this is the slowest lift I've ever been on. Hello. 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 Okay, let's have a look at the world's smallest hotel room. Right. The reception, security, kitchen, kitchen. There we go. What about this for a room? Everything you'd ever need. You know what I mean? Pretty much you could touch all four walls if you're lying down in the bed. It's kind of like in between a single and a, a king size, I think. But anyway, here, <coughs> in, fact, in fact, the ensuite, we'll leave the ensuite for, for the end. You have your toilet roll, you have your two, two people can sleep in here? Okay, this is actually for two people. <laughs> this, is, this is a lot worse. Okay, we've got two cups. We have a controller for the aircon, which is an absolute result because I didn't expect the aircon in a place like this. We have obviously charging ports. I'm um, not sure about the Wi-Fi, but I don't really need Wi-Fi, so I haven't tested it. We have a telephone for whatever reason, um, which is a bit bizarre. We have a TV. We have a TV, which just, again, is bizarre. We have a fan. We have a mirror, because every hotel room I've been in has a mirror and needs a mirror. Let me see what's under. Anything under here? Oh, they obviously expected me. <laughs> Let's have a look at the world's smallest ensuite. There you go. Within about, would that be a one square meter? I'm not sure, but not much of a tour needed. You have your toilet, you have your sink above the toilet, you have all the necessary condiments. We have a boiler, 
and we have the shower and we have a, a reel for your for your towels and we have an extractor fan and a light and we have Louis Vuitton this is the Louis Vuitton shower we've got the Damier I'm not sure what pattern this is but this is the lighter color whatever that is could you swing a cat in here probably not you couldn't even swing a hamster I'm not sure a hamster could swing a hamster let me show you what it's like when the door's closed you know put it here that'll be that and then what more, what more would you want? I don't know what the fuss is about. Pretty good. And not bad as well for, I think it was about 70, 80 dollars per night. Not the cheapest place in the world, of course, but that's Hong Kong. Hong, Hong Kong rental prices are incredible. I don't know if you've heard of the cage homes, but they are incredibly expensive. And all they are is probably a single bed. And then obviously you've got the cage around it. And it's in like a dormitory style room where there might be eight, 10, 12, 14, whatever it is, other, other, other locals. But uh, yes, this is, this has got to be the world's smallest hotel room. Right, time to test this shower and then it's back off to another country tomorrow. So let me show you what this hotel has done to ensure you don't get lost because there are a labyrinth of hotels, hostels and guest houses. So they actually give you your little room card with all the information. So you have block E, we have the top floor, the 16th floor. We are in unit E5. And then room 72, which is a bit strange because there's only six rooms in our unit. But uh, yeah, it's quite handy to have, especially for somebody it's your first time here. It's very, very easy to, to get lost. Let me show you as well the configuration of each wing. So there's obviously five wings in Chongqing mansions, and this is E wing. So we're in the 16th floor of the E wing, and then it's divided up into six units. And then these units, which used to be homes, are then divided up into hostels, guest houses, or somewhere I see offices as well. So let me show you, this is a hotel, this is a guest house, and this is a hostel. Here we have our hotel, and then finally here we have, this is an office for Centre for Refugees, like a Christian Action Centre. So quite the mix actually. <laughs> In here, let's just say there is an eclectic mix of cultures, but mostly actually South Asian. We own and operate most of the shops, most of the restaurants in the building. You can see the South Asian influence here actually. Here you have, well, a choice of maybe two meals. And through here, you'll have the various shops, grocery shops, fruit shops electronic stores, everything you would ever need. Here's an example of some of the food. I'm guessing again, there you go, pakoda, samosa. So lots of Indian, Nepalese and Pakistan. A lot of shops seem to be closed. I'm not sure whether that's because of the time or, or what, but. Right. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got suitcase shops as people come and go, as they come here to buy stuff in Hong Kong. Obviously the, the centre of the retail industry here in East Asia. And then we've got foreign exchange places. We have stairs to go. Let's go upstairs actually and see what we, uh, what we can find upstairs. Hello, namaste no. myself. So here we have, this is actually quite a big restaurant. And it is, obviously it has to be Indian. Yes, you get chicken biryani which gives that away a lot quieter obviously here in the first floor we have electronic shops here we can get phone covers we have i think this is a barber we have a barber here with shave and then again more bits and pieces here you could buy and it's all it's like a little i think ecosystem god this is quiet look at this but yes like a little ecosystem you have everything you'd ever need grocery stores electronic stores restaurants everything so you wouldn't have to leave I wouldn't recommend it, mind you, but... Laundry stores, of course, to clean the mass of bed clothes and people's clothes that live in these, that live in these buildings. All right, so let me show you the lift infrastructure of Chongqing Mansions. Okay, we have two lifts here. This, these serve block E, so you've got lift nine and lift 10. And lift 10 will access the even number floors, four, six, eight, 10, 12. And then lift nine will access the odd number floors. And then in the middle actually, which is a bit 
strange. You have the monitors for the CCTV cameras inside, so you can see who's inside, I'm not sure what the reason is. And just to show you the amount of hostels, hotels and accommodations, this is the list of guest houses on each floor. So on the left hand side you've got floor 10 through to 16 and everything black is either a guest house or a hotel or a hostel. It shows you the amount of selection of hotels. You normally it's quite busy here, normally there you can wait probably anything up to 30-45 minutes. It's actually quite quiet. Did you do a uh, face massage? Yes. Face clean? Massage? No massage. No massage? No face? Only this massage. Oh yeah, perfect. Yeah. Let's go. Nice shop. Nice, very nice shop. Yeah. Nice. Your name is? Barry. Barry? E-A-R-I-Q. Ah, Daddy. Daddy. Should have known. Daddy. Nice to meet you. I'm David Daddy. Okay, no problem. Sounds like I'm saying Daddy. Is this your shop? Not uh, working. Oh, yeah, it's not your shop. Okay. Where's the boss? Was he going Pakistan? Oh, he's away to Pakistan. This is where you're from, eh? Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. Pakistan. Zindabad, Pakistan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been in Hong Kong? Eighteen years. Eighteen years? Yeah. In this huge shop, eighteen years. Eighteen years in this shop as well. Working, yeah. Wow. And where in Pakistan are you from? Uh, Punjab. Punjab in the north. Punjab yeah. is at the very top, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Your TikTok? A uh, little bit of TikTok and a <laughs> little bit of YouTube. Oh uh, yeah, so I like to go to different places and talk to different people. Wow, that is that, that's very good, Daddy. Yeah, thank you. God it does sound as if I'm saying Daddy. Oh, Daddy, ah, uh, very good. Daddy, chill. You from? I'm from Ireland. Ireland. Yes. Oh. We play cricket. You get? We're okay. <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. Where do you live here? Yeah, Farling. Ah, uh, how long? Like yeah, one hour. One hour. And how long? What time do you start? What time do you start here in the morning? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock? Yeah. And then what time do you close? Nine to nine. Nine to nine? Twelve hours? Yeah. One hour here, one hour back. Fourteen yeah. hours, ten yeah. hours at home. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> not, the, not the shoulder. <laughs> Tell me one thing you like about Hong Kong. What do you like? The people are friendly? Yeah, the people are friendly. And the food? The food is the food is good? Good. But in Pakistan it's better, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All good? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. 18 years of experience there. I tell you, see you later. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Take care, bye-bye. Six dollars or six quid, about seven fifty. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. <laughs> Uh, you know the national language yeah, 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 of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. China. Just to say hello. What's your name? What's your name? David. Sorry, my name's David. I'm from Belfast. David. David is from Belfast. I, unbelievable. You know this is this is this is unbelievable. You see, also doing yeah, I'm, live I'm, as well? I'm I'm going to join in in the little fight here. So yes, you wouldn't believe I've actually found somebody who uh, used to go to university in Korean, which in is a, which is a small town in exactly. the north of my country, North Ireland bizarre and he's actually just live streaming on we are live streaming facebook? on facebook and facebook? ig yeah. so so facebook in uh, hong and kong IG. is still it's it's it's, it's, it's all on. good it's on ah okay and you're from i'm from local here i was born in oh, hong kong all oh, right okay and okay. raised in hong kong work in yes. hong kong but of course i have been over the world you know can, can i can i just say as well yeah. that this is a perfect example for anyone wanting to do this sort of thing is that age is only a number when it comes to this people think that this is a young person's game it's completely not as long as you have a talent and you can speak the camera it's all good exactly i mean people think we are crazy we're not crazy <laughs> no Actually, no no we, 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 we are slightly crazy no I no <laughs> I, I, I think what, what what we show to to the world is we are friends yeah yeah, yeah regardless of, of whatever yeah. background we come from yeah but but what a coincidence huh? that, i just that, run into somebody from that is, belfast that is bizarre have you this ever been saw? You know, not often because Northern Ireland only has maybe about. How, how long are you going to be here? I think there's only about a million or a million and a half people in Northern Ireland, yeah. and I hate to say it, quite a lot of them don't leave the country. Yeah. You know, and then but to meet somebody who's not only been there but studied there as well <laughs> is, uh, is, 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 is is bizarre. How many? How, how many? How I many was years studying are, there for four years. Four years. Oh, yeah. four years. I did my degree there. Yeah. 
我我是我是呃，我是我是 banking finance， 我是读金融业的那个时候。OK OK， very good。And you live very fast， 然后 I it has a lot a lot of memories， 然后 a lot of memory， a lot good memories。Yes yes， I really I really really like Belfast。Remember Giant Causeway， right？ Yes， Giant Causeway。And for us， my my mom and dad actually live、uh, two minutes from Giant Causeway。Two minutes from Giant Causeway。So we're we're Korean is very much very、yeah. close to us。We can do、know? the same to your friends all、yes. over the world、right?。Yes。This is Andy from Hong Kong， and this is David， you know, from、yes. Belfast。Andy from Hong Kong. This is your Christian name as well.、Uh, basically, it is my English name. You know? Okay, what's your uh, uh, my your... family name? Yes, Yong. Why you and Yong? Oh, okay, very good. You on on travel here?、Or? Yeah, yes.、Yeah, so, well, no, no. I kind of yeah. So I work full time, and then I do as much travel as I can possibly get away with. I think is probably、yeah. the right answer. Yeah, yeah.、Um, and yes,、yeah, so I done China for only maybe a week in Chengdu. Really loved it. That was a city I never really heard of,、oh, apart、right. from the panda. It has the but, panda. But did you, did you like the food?、Eh? It's、Incredible. spicy. It's spicy. I had to go to the toilet a few times, but、yeah. uh, you know my wife is actually from Chengdu.、Yeah? Oh really? <laughs> so all、oh, right. So you like the peppers and you like the spice? Then, I,、no? I must.、Eh? <laughs> I had no choice. Very、yeah. good. In the past, when we when we try to get contact with my parents, you know, from、yeah. the UK, we have to use this telephone. You know?、yeah. We have to use this telephone. You're now watching a master at work. <laughs> each minute it costs us, you know, like one pound. You know, at that time, you know, now we we can do it free. You know? Can I just say, kids do not realize how lucky they are. Exactly. You know, everything is just. I don't know. I think it's great. I think it's great that we moved on in terms of technology and infrastructure.、Exactly. But everything is just at our fingertips now.、Yep. You know, we had to.、It's、first of all, we、granted. had to find、exactly. the telephone box.、Yeah. Then we had to find out how to use it.、Exactly. And obviously, it costs so much money. It costs so much money. Yeah. And now with the new technology, we. You can、yes. top three, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been doing this for? I'm just doing it for one month, yeah. You've only started one I, month. I, I tried, but, but you're not like. You really? Seem as if you've、really? been doing it for years. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I'm yeah. a bullshit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bullshit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just learned all this from the UK education, <laughs>、yes. you know. He's he spent a lot of time in Northern Ireland, so he knows how to bullshit. Exactly. <laughs> oh hi. <laughs> oh hi. <laughs> okay, See, you, you know, never know who you're gonna meet. Are you? On the streets of Hong Kong,、yeah, in, <laughs> only just left the hotel okay, about three seconds ago.、Right? Yes, this is the one. This is the one. Okay, my friend just been to the giant causeway. Maybe I send you the photos. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Here, listen. Nice listen, to meet you. Listen, nice to meet you. If you are still around tomorrow, we can, you know, go for a beer. Perfect, perfect. Right, right see you around. See you around. Oh, that is. I wonder, can we meet any more wonderful people on the streets of Hong Kong? Let's go and find out. Anyone comes to Hong Kong. They have to try the foods, whether that's dim sum, dumplings, whatever. They have to try Cantonese food. So we just actually came from the main street here, just behind us, where Chongqing Mansions are, and we're on this little sort of like alleyway, I suppose. But it's full of shops, or full of restaurants, local restaurants, where it's all local people, which is a good sign. And I think we're just going to have to choose one. So I think we'll choose this one here and go in and check it out. Hello. Hello.、Uh, just one. It's okay here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So anyway, let's have a look at the menu. So we have, I think what we'll do is probably go for a roast duck, probably a dim sum, wherever it is. I'm not exactly sure where. I'm gonna have to ask somebody, and I'll probably ask for a recommendation as well from them. So I don't see any dim sum. I'll have to ask and see if they have any dim sum.、Uh, could you? What do you recommend? Recommend something、uh, like Hong, Hong this Kong. This one is the best. Okay. Okay. And traditional, traditional of Hong Kong. Yes. This okay. Style. Perfect. And then a what?、Uh, yes, I got a water. Okay. You want a noodle? Or yeah. Rice? And noodles. Noodles. Noodles, please. Perfect.、Yes. Thank you. So that's what we're going for. We are going for the skirt steak and noodles. Gonna have to take his word for it. All right. Here is our food. We have our beef, and we have our sort of soup, and then we have our noodles here as well. I think this is.、Uh, I think this is Chinese cabbage. Nothing quite beats. Eating your dinner near the road, a lot of noise. But let me just show you this here as well. We have each table obviously has this little drawer, so you can take as many chopsticks as you want, or if you want some cutlery, you can use a cutlery instead. And if you want anything salt, there's probably I don't know, sugar, pepper, and then obviously toothpicks. So quite efficient. All right, so let's try this traditional Hong Kong dish. Mm. 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 Pretty good, not spicy at all. The the meat is actually really really tender. I can see why so many people like it. The noodles, I really really like these noodles. There's a little bit of a bite to them as well. 
and then of course you have this cabbage so there's not really a lot to the dish but really good this is one thing you have to do when you come to this part of china the cantonese side of china if you like is the food and that's everything from you know the dumplings to the dim sum to whatever the hell this is i think what we'll try and do we'll try and eat this and see if we can find a restaurant and we'll have a few dim sum pretty good that's great thank you very much take care right, well that was actually pretty good for i think about six or seven quid right next stop we have to try some dim sum <laughs> surely it can't be that hard all right guys so if you ever find yourself in hong kong and wonder what these like, wet patches are in the footpath especially when it hasn't been raining for a couple of days that is because the majority of these buildings so you'll see all these buildings most of them are retail shops and obviously restaurants but up above especially the older ones you'll see the vast number of apartments and because of the extreme heat especially in the summer here in hong kong every apartment will need their little aircon unit and as a byproduct of obviously creating cold air it will then drip because obviously the reaction with the hot air outside and then you're left with these sort of wet patches all along the footpath which is quite interesting and here as well this is another one of these mansions this is mirador mansion which is i'm guessing would have been built at the same time as our Chongqing, Chongqing mansion so you get the same idea inside now it's probably a full of shops full of restaurants and uh, little hotels I tell you these mansions they come in all shapes and sizes there's another one here too just line the streets we have one on this side and then two on the other side and then they'll be the same the whole way up either side of the street again let's try hong kong's best dim sum restaurant so we are in Long Yi, fucking was a long time, Long Yi Dim Sum Restaurant. So let's have a look at the menu. Um, what I will probably do is ask the lady for a little bit of help because, no, it is, it is in English. So here we go, we've got the traditional steamed, we've got the fried, we've got the handmade rice rolls, we have the Chinese buns, steamed rice and seafood. Uh, and a few other bits and pieces. Actually a decent menu when it comes to Dim Sum because usually Dim Sum you're quite uh, restricted. Right, um, not the colour I was expecting, but here are your dumplings. A little fact about dumplings was that these were used as a little snack along with your tea during the era of the Silk Road. God. Guys, if you have not tried the food of China, you need to come and visit, trust me. Oh! We have a bit of what looks like a bit of wood in our dumpling. Why the fuck did I Anyway, oh, it's part of the basket. That's what it is. Anyway, we have our lobster and shrimp dumpling. It's quite juicy. I think there's quite a bit of bite to it as well inside, which is normal for lobster. And then the outside, we have our traditional um, steamed part of the dumpling. So it's like the doughy part. I'm not sure how they've got this color, but. Dough doesn't really describe it well, but it's actually very nice. It is pretty good. And then of course, add it to your soy sauce, just gives that little bit extra taste with the salt. Okay, next up we have the pork and shrimp dumpling, which would be quite typical. This would be a quite popular dish when it comes to dumplings here in uh, Southern China. Let's have a go. Oh, oh, really tender. Really juicy, which would be normal considering they're steamed. Mm, pretty good. I can't really tell what is um, in terms of the taste. Yeah, so you can definitely taste the pork. I'm gonna say my favorite would have the probably the lobster, which is the one she recommended. Well, mission accomplished. I think that is it for for the day. We're stuffed now. Plenty of food. I'm not actually too bad for about seven dollars. But let's go. There you go. Yeah. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Can I have uh, some reviews so online? Yes, from where? Uh, where you book? Agoda? Yes. Uh, yeah, Agoda. Perfect. Okay. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Salamat. 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 <laughs> bye. Bye 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 bye.